Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create an advertising campaign in ExoClick. In this tutorial, we are going to see the basic steps to set up a simple banner campaign. Let's get started. The offer I am promoting is a casino offer and I will be targeting mobile users because the offer is specifically designed for mobile. I will be using a 300x250 banner format because this is a large size banner to display on mobile. And this will lead to this landing page. I will begin by selecting the site categories I want to target. In this tutorial, I will be targeting entertainment. As you can see, I can target specific subcategories within the category or the whole category. For the campaign, I am going to target all categories. If I target too few, I might not win much traffic. And I need the traffic because then I can collect more data. Then, when I have a good amount of data, I can see which types of sites work best for my offer. This will allow me to then optimize the campaign. So for now, let's target all subcategories. I will select the banner format 300x250. Notice that there are options below. These are different placements of that banner position on the website selected, based on the subcategories I chose before. All will target all available banner zones. Banner will target only desktop zones. In Video Banner will target banners inside a site's video content, just like on YouTube, for example. Instant Message will target banner displayed in the bottom right corner of a website, like a message notification. Mobile Banner will target all mobile banner ad zones. Sticky Banner will target banner ad zones that stay on screen, even as the end user scrolls through the website's content. And finally, RTB Banner Supply will focus on banners coming from RTB zones. In this next step, I need to add my offer's landing page URL and add any tracking tokens that I want to use. I will also upload the banner creative. Click on Add Variations. Cut and paste the URL from your offer. Now I am going to add tracking tokens. These are not compulsory, but they can help us track certain details of the campaign. This is especially useful if I'm using a tracking solution. Before I add the tokens, I need to add a question mark after my URL. Then, click Add Tokens to see our tokens. One important token, for instance, is Conversions Tracking, which is used to pass conversion information to the postback URL of my tracking solution. Next, I will upload the banner image. Click on Select Files which opens the media library, and click Upload File to search for the banner image. Once the image has been uploaded, it is in your media library, and you can reuse it for other banner campaigns. Click on Add Variation, and you will see the image and the URL uploaded to the campaign. Now, I will have to wait until our compliance team approves the campaign. In the meantime, I will set up the rest of the campaign. In step three, I will choose the targeting settings to determine what type of traffic I want to reach. For this campaign, I want to target the US, mobile devices and English speakers. First, I select US in locations targeting. Notice you can also target specific regions inside the US, but right now I want to get a broad amount of traffic. For device, I want to target all mobile devices, again to get maximum traffic. Finally, in language targeting, I select English. There are more targeting options available, but right now I want to get maximum traffic. Fine tuning will be done when I have run this test campaign for a few days. In step four, I will set the bid price for the campaign. This step is very important because it is not only going to determine how much I pay for the traffic, but also how competitive I am. The available price models for campaigns are CPM, where I pay for a thousand ad impressions, CPC, 
where I pay the price of a click only if an end user clicks on the banner ad. For banner campaigns like mine, I can use CPM or CPC. I can also use Smart CPM, which is a custom model that determines how much I'm willing to pay for a thousand impressions. If there are no strong competitors for the traffic, the Smart Bidding will reduce the budget to the minimum I need to pay in order to become the top bidder. If the competition increases, then the bid will also increase up to the maximum amount I have specified. Both CPM and Smart CPM are the models to go when you want to make sure that your campaign shows up first before all the other advertisers. In my campaign, I don't know what my competition is yet, so I'm going to go with CPC format, and I will use the minimum bid for the US, which is displayed in the minimum prices link. There are a few more settings that are going to help me control the initial spending of the campaign. Frequency capping limits the amount of impressions that my campaign can receive from the same user. Frequency capping is a very useful tool to minimize the impact of the campaign without affecting the quality of the traffic received. I will set it at two impressions per 24 hours, meaning that an end user will see my ad twice every 24 hours. This will help me prevent banner blindness. Then we have the limits. Daily limits determine how much traffic the campaign can receive every day, whereas total limits determine how much traffic the campaign can receive during its lifetime. Both limits can be set up based on spending or based on the maximum amount of impressions I want to receive. Note that I will still have an impressions limit in CPC campaigns. When the total limits are reached, the campaign will pause and won't resume until I enable it again. For this tutorial, I am going to use only daily limits and I will set up the daily budget limit at 50 euros. Additionally, it is very important that I check out one feature from the campaign's page, the traffic estimates. This shows me how much traffic is available for the campaign from the targeting settings I selected. The amount of traffic targeted can affect the daily budget. If I am targeting too many clicks or impressions, and the budget is very low, then the daily budget might not be respected, leading to an overspending. So, it is important to check how much traffic I might receive in order to set a reasonable budget. Since the daily budget is a very important tool, it is essential that you also understand its limitations. When you enable a daily limit, you also have the chance to enable a delivery mode. There are two modes, quick delivery and distribute throughout the day. With quick delivery, the system will try to reach the assigned daily limit as quickly as possible, whereas with distribute throughout the day, the system will send traffic slowly in order to make sure that the campaign runs during the entire day. I will select distribute throughout the day because I want to see how the traffic behaves during each hour of the day. And finally, here's the final step of the campaign setup, zone targeting. Here, I can select the type of site sending traffic to my campaign and also specify whether I want to target or block specific ad zones. There are two specific traffic types, premium and run, also known as run of the network. Premium sites refers to our whitelisted publishers who send high volumes of responsive traffic, whereas run of the network applies to all the other sites of the network. Premium traffic is highly competitive, but has more chances of offering results, provided that you can afford it. Run of the network can offer variable results and is usually more affordable. There is also the partnered network button, which allows you to receive traffic from partnered networks, mainly via RTB and exchange channels. Here, I will select Run, as I want to test this traffic before testing premium sites, and we will be targeting all the sites from Run. One advantage of Run is that new sites are added every day to ExoClick, so I can test the new traffic sources that enter the platform. Now, simply click 
the Create button. The campaign will be created and will be pending review from our compliance team. If this is your first campaign, you will see that the campaign is rejected for account verification. This is the normal process. And once your account is verified, you should see it up and running straight away. You will start to see costs, clicks and impressions of the campaign in the campaigns list, as well as in your statistics. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Be sure to check our documentation for a detailed explanation of all the targeting settings we have shown in this video. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at help at Have a nice day!